This video is proudly brought to you by Hovitech. Hovitech. Just a button away. In this video tutorial, I'll be explaining how to fix an Android phone which has been bricked by changing fonts. And you are going to be using Auto Font on Breaker by Tim Overtech for this. Here it is. Now, the, the traditional way of fixing such an issue would be to flash the system.img or the the clock up mode backup in recovery mode that is the flash system of img using sp flash tool or any tool you can get or even in fastboot you just flash system of img or you restore your cwm backup or you could try to flash a backup of your font but this particular tool makes it a lot easier for you to fix such an issue because all you need is this tool your pc and your phone which has been bricked by changing font so to give you a start to finish approach i'm going to break this phone this particular phone here this is not a screen saver this is actually a working phone so let me return to home screen so i'm going to break this phone using iphone and then i'm going to fix it using auto font on breaker by team overtech so um before i start let me i'm going to restart this phone so you have an idea of how long it takes to reboot so you know when it has been stuck at techno logo so i'm going to reboot this phone what i'm trying to do here is to just give an idea of you know how long it takes to restart and so you know when it has been stuck at logo for too long you understand so standing by for a reboot So what I'm trying to do here to remind you is just give an idea of the normal reboot process, how long it ideally takes for this particular phone to reboot. So when it's been stuck at logo for too long, we know there is something, we know something is wrong. Alright, so you've seen this phone reboot from start to finish. Okay, now I'm going to break this phone by changing the font. And I'm going to use iPhone. I already have a pre-downloaded font which... I know bricks phones or at least bricks this particular phone. Let me not say bricks phone because it might work on your own phone. But this particular phone bricks my own phone. So I click on my and I select my font. I'm going to load this font from my SD card. somewhere down here okay and I'm going to tap set so once the font is set the phone should automatically reboot so depending on your kind of phone it's the the time it takes might vary but this tends to take quite some time so i'm just going to have to wait
taking quite some time okay seems i just might have to reboot the phone and okay that took quite some time so i'm standing by to regain connection to the phone So you now did you notice the 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 boot up sound, the 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 boot up sound did not complete unlike the other time, it just stopped like some part of the way, unlike the first time when I rebooted the phone. But that tells you there's probably something wrong. Now I'm going to wait for about a minute, or roughly a minute, just to confirm that this phone is actually bricked. You understand? So I'm just going to take a few seconds. So at this point, I am most likely sure that this phone is bricked because at least it did not take this long the other time I rebooted the phone. So this phone has been bricked by the font I just installed. So now I'm going to use Auto Font on Breaker to fix this phone. Now before you use Auto Font on Breaker, you need to install ADB on your PC. If you already have ADB on your PC, you can skip this part but just for those who do not have adb installed on their pcs i'm going to take you through installing adb on your pc now to to enable to ensure that your device is going to be well detected by adb i'm going to install adb drivers and you're also going to install some mediatek drivers so for the adb drivers you are going to be using this adb setup the link is at the tutorial at the forum and for the MediaTek drivers, I'm going to use the PDA Net method. Now I'm going to install PDA Net. Okay, I'm going to install the ADB drivers first. So yes, this is still stuck at logo. So I'm very sure this phone is bricked. There's no doubt about that. So I'll just okay. Let me it will, it will get minimized once I click this. So now I'm going to install the ADB drivers using this ADB setup. As I as I earlier mentioned, the setups for these two setups can be gotten at the tutorial at the forum so just don't be don't panic all right so i'm going to set up this adb driver and tap yes to proceed now here i select do you want to install adb and fastboot yes and i press enter install adb system while that is for all users yes I press enter installing adb do you want to install ADB drivers? Yes, I want to install ADB drivers. Next, finish. Okay, so I have that set up. Now I want to install my MediaTek drivers. Although normally I should not have to go through this step. Since I've installed ADB, this should work ideally. But for some people have complained of ADB still not detecting their phones after installing ADB drivers using this method. So I'm going to take you through the PD net method to be sure that you have your MediaTek drivers also installed. So for this, you just need to get any MTK phone, any MediaTek phone, and it doesn't have to be the same model, just to find an MTK phone. So I will get another MTK phone to assist me with. If you're using a Techno, you could get the Techno, you could get a Journey, just any MTK phone will be fine. You enable USB debugging on the phone. Let me connect. This is another phone. This is a working phone. Sorry. This is a working phone. All right. So I'll just go to developer options and make sure that USB debugging is enabled. As you can see, this is enabled. So I am done with that. USB debugging is enabled. As you can see, this is a different phone. So you don't think the same phone. This is a different phone. Let me quickly connect the brick one very important you have evidence let me connect the bridge phone so you see yeah you can see there are two different phones okay all right yes two different phones okay so i am going to install pdnet now having the working phone connected which is also an mtk phone i just need to install my mtk mtk driver just in case I already have an existing PDNet installation on this PC, but you shouldn't get that if you are if you've not installed PDNet previously on your phone. So just 
let me go to this uninstallation process since I already had PDNet installed on the phone before now. But if this is your first time, you shouldn't be seeing what I'm seeing at the moment. So now this is installation proper. I accept next, next, next. Okay, yes, okay. If you get a prompt with a list of manufacturers, all you do is select order. You might see Samsung, HTC, and the rest. If you get that, just select order, mm -hmm. and then I'm done. So I have my MediaTek drivers installed. Let me disconnect. I'm going to disconnect this working phone, and I'm going to reconnect my font bricked phone. Don't forget that this is just a precaution. You, your ADB might still work perfectly without you going to disturb or for those who complain about ADB not detecting their phones. This is one method that can, that can help you resolve that issue. So I have ADB set up on my phone now. I proceed to auto font on breaker. So what you want to do is to extract auto font on breaker from the zip. Now with the phone connected to the PC while still stuck at logo, this is it. The phone is connected to the PC while it's stuck at logo. You just go to auto font on breaker, you double tap. Now you are going to get let me drag this to the center so you have a good view. So are you ready to proceed? All you have to do is press Y, yes, and enter. Now auto font on breaker is fixing the phone. So let me Put this here so you see both so now the phone has been rebooted and I'm standing by for a reconnection to the phone so you see what's happening all right now you see that the startup sound was completely this time around it didn't stop midway i'm going to give you a full view so this phone was initially stuck at logo the same big phone and voila phone is fixed so to be sure nothing else was affected you can see it stayed very much the same way it was before I bricked it with the font so that is how to unbreak your font bricked Android phone or another phone that, that has been bricked by changing font using Hovertex auto font on breaker